Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to our thrill studio and this is Anuja here. Today we are in our day 2 of our uh, Santhal painting and many of you were there yesterday as well and we had good time painting together. What we created in our previous class was a Santhal painting. This was a couple that we cre uh, that we made and over after all the exercisation what I told you in the previous class also that you can add the suggested you that you can add this and which I got the time later and I did it. So here is the final outcome of this picture and this is how it looks. I hope you like it. If you like it give it the thumbs up or press the like button that is there. So I get to see many of you have painted with me. So as many of you ask whether we will be doing together or not my pace is very very easy to handle and you all can work together also. So there's no rush. Just take a pencil and a paper and we will all start together. So today in today's uh, this class we will be needing a paper. Okay one thing I want to check whether my video and audio is going all very uh, well. If the, okay. So if type in a yes if in case. I want a yes to start with. Today we will be using. The A4 size paper, the paper you can take a regular regular paper also you uh, but if it's good if it's a little thicker. So if it is thick it is 170 GSM and above. So a little above would be little thick so that you can. Thank you Anu, thank you for a yes. We will start now. So you can make a full size picture of an A4 or an A3 or whatever size you want to for a Santhal painting. I will be uh, keeping it in a smaller uh, smaller frame because uh, we need to finish it within time. So I will be folding the paper into halves, making it just like a card and I'll place, place it on the work area. So this is the A5 size. So half of A4 is A5 and this is actually the... Uh, 170 GSM paper. I will just put it on the table so that you can see this. So yes, this was yesterday's work and today we will be creating a different uh, picture. People and their life is the main thing that they paint and today we will be making a painting where we will make the whole family. A small boy male and in the setting of the house here it's the setting of the forest or the greens around okay so here I'll just keep it separate I hope you liked it if you liked it uh, press a like button that is right there we will start with giving a little margin margin for the border you may not want to keep the water uh, the border white you may want to do it colored and that is totally fine I just kept it white you can do it any with a subtle color so here also you will see that the pictures are really bright and the backgrounds are subtle so we will continue with the same so it's in the horizontal position I'll make a scene like this and I'll take some margin to give it a frame We will draw it with pencil. Thank you, Krishi. Thank you. Yeah. So I'll just zoom it for your convenience. Yeah. I hope this is good enough to be seen hmm. here we will be making the a hut this portion will go as a hut and a small child here there is a lady who is uh, busy in her work so just divide around just take the center of the page so that you know where all we are plotting the things it's very important to uh, make it if you're making it with me right now it's important to get the positioning of the thing uh, very correct because it, your picture might get very big and you would not have space for the other one 
so here I will take the center and in the center I'll make one so if in case you want that I'll just give you a little graph here this is the center and this is the center dividing my page into four four um, sections this is the place where I'm do doing the center uh, figure this is a small boy the neck it's the sitting posture yesterday we did the standing posture today we would be doing the sitting posture so the side these are the hands the body again gets curved this is the foot this is the hand here again I'll give the boy a little fish over here the, the drawings are not very difficult they are really simple so this and here the other foot folded this. so this is a uh, this is a position if you want to make it even more simpler you can make a eight kind of a sleeping eight kind of a position and then you just do the hands like this so you get the basic structure and then you can just give it a form okay so this is again the same if you have to make multiple you can always make it but this is how the simplified form of it is quickly you can just do it whatever this proportion is just take the measurement of this and the proportion actually is the same so whatever is this portion over here gets as the height of the figure so that's the basic proportion you might not have the torso very long and the sitting very small i just made it another one here which is the space for the other one The hair and we would be making the eye the eye as I said it's going to be big and bright just a little nose coming and this is the now we will do the lady the lady is this is a small child accompanying the lady and the lady will be a little higher I mean like um, bigger in size so her head goes a little high she is busy in her work <laughs> thank you Mashami. so here this is an oval and this is not a sitting the child is actually watching over her and whereas she is tilting her head looking down here okay so the figures are lean and um, not very heavy so just make a bottle kind of a shape that is very it's basic it's a very simple drawing the those tribal paintings are really simple so it's like a bottle bottle kind of a thing so you get this kind of a shape here extend it make lean hands Now again the body gets curved as I told you in the previous class it is in a kidney bean kind of shape so here this goes like this and since it is a sitting posture the the part which is down which is the this portion will not be seen instead what will be seen is the the leg will be covering it so here And this one goes this way so it's kind of sitting in uh, the front it's it's not a half fold position she's sitting so the hand we're gonna make her busy with her work and So 
so here this is a fish see she is cutting the fish she is cleaning the fish to cook so now here since it is the side one here and they are not wearing any stitched cloth so there is no blouse over here we will get to see a little little of her body but not making it like too obvious and this gets This is the dress. This is the sari. In the middle also. Later we have to give it all the lines with directly with the paint. Now we'll go on to the face. Making the eye. Here. So see actually how much portion of the face is the eye. So this only this part gets curved for the hair. Now just give a little bump for the hair and here is the did you know? So the hair is tied and she's just sitting watching over this. So I'll just erase off the arrow. It was just for your understanding and all these lines I'll erase it later so that you know where I'm plotting the picture. Now adding some background over here. This is the hut. The huts are uh, in this shape where the it is a little, these are kacha houses of course and the wall, the haystack on the, here. so we can just later decorate the whole thing with lines and colors that will come autumn, uh, that will come directly with the paints. So this over here. I will be penning all the important lines because I have made the oval also so the rough drafting is still there which I uh, just showed it to you. All these lines, all these things will come later. Now on the other side I am giving another setting with where the house is one more small area is there this time a little lower. Again another hut and here is the all the haystack will be coming on the top. We will just give the details with again as I said. No more details with this. Now here I am giving some tying of this. Just give a cloth tied over here and the same over here. In the middle I am giving a cloth hanging wherein there is a small baby so for the baby also the posture i mean like half of it will be inside this is all the cloth that has been tied and again a bean shaped body and leg so do not worry if it is not looking very um, realistic it is not supposed to be looking like that and we will do the face All the lines that are overlapping will be erased later on. So you'll have a better picture. But this is all, all the rough thing that's. So this is a cloth tied. All this will come later. Here again the cloth is tied over here. There is a door in the background. Then maybe a window. It's still very rough. So if you can just make out. making some place for them to sit here again the design i'm not making any design i'm just showing you that the design would be coming over here they are sitting at a little um little position if you want you can actually make one more figure over here if you want to make it even more um, condensed then you can make a figure over here if you don't want it just make a small window this time in a different shape and maybe a door on the side. So this is a small sketch of it. Let's see how we uh, give it the final look. So I'll just take my waterproof pen to give the lines. 
uh, your figure work oh yes thank you yeah it is if is for practicing any of the even if it is a simple form knowing the proportions and how to draw is very 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 important even from a stick figure to a realistic figure the if the proportions do not match to the to the real thing then it doesn't uh, fall in place and we feel that oh that is there is something which is very odd so yeah we have sketching and drawing uh, classes also that i take privately for people so if in case you are interested in that also there's a portrait sketching course that's coming up in um in october so then i will be just showing it um, all that we would be covering in the youtube uh, short so i'll just post it so that you will get the glimpse of what all we will be doing in that and if in case you are interested just ping me i'll share all the details then also so those are all the online classes so giving the final one even i'm not i'm not very uh, particular in this also my lines are not very uh, like i'm not tracing them i'm just giving a rough sketch only everything will come with the paint in this i will be adding very minimalistic jewelry uh, or the accessories because this this is a very home homely setting whereas this was not a very homely setting so we just accessorized a little so it can never go higher than this this is the maximum that we did and today we will do it even simpler just this is a quick tracing on to the picture the upper eyelash you can make it a little heavier because it looks pretty so yeah this is all the detailings you can do it directly with uh, paint also if in case you want to draw a little you can just go with the pencil work first if you are not very confident on just drawing it with this most of these lines will be all um, hidden you can make the child awake uh, awake or sleep in your wish i'll just make the eyes a little open so this is pretty much in the drawing and i'll just erase quickly all the all the rough lines that i added
so that we can start with the colors. Just adding whatever I've erased and not marked. So this is the sari and this is the center pleats. So this is the border. I'll just add the border with my scale. This is from the Jharkhand uh, Krupa. This is from Jharkhand. Uh, there, it is made. It is mainly done uh, now. The people ha because of the migrations and everything happening, they are uh, they are also uh, in Bengal, West Bengal areas of West Bengal and Jharkhand. These were initially done by only the um, Jadu Patwas. The term that uh, were called for these people who used to make these paintings were called Jadu Patwas. They they used to go paint. Uh, paint this just to celebrate the crop and uh, uh, ward off the evils these are the their beliefs and just and one more thing is like the adornation like the beautification of their houses and places so even in the houses in the tribes you will see that they will do the door decoration with the rice flour and all that so whatever they used to get they it was from the harvest the colors were from the harvest and sometimes the sticks twigs and the animal uh, hair brushes were used to paint so but here um, it is a lot of color it's a lot of color in these paintings and we cannot say that it is only done with the rice flour or the conch shell powder like um, sora paintings are done with the conch shell they they stay close to the river they take those uh, shells they grind it get the white powder and then they paint it uh, with that white so mainly it is white and the charred black but here um, it's a lot of color and all of them it was organic only i mean like in those times synthetic colors were very difficult to get they they never had the access to it but now we do we are very limited in our access to the natural pigments so if in case anybody wants the natural pigments we do get it in gujarat so they still practice and they uh, they make the natural pigments and they are done with the real stone the stone pigments the rock pigments a lot of things um, for different colors oh my water my pen is a uniball eye waterproof pen so this is a good waterproof pen and uh, yeah so if I, you can do it with any of the microns also micron pens is also very good you get it in different tips i think this this will have a fine tip but uh, it's not it's a 0.5 pen it's a 0.5 so even if i do it with the other things it will not harm now here in the background if you want to make it more saturated then you can add the trees which is a part of part of it you may also add birds or any other thing so i'll just make it very bright and colorful it will take some time that's why i'm just speeding up with my drawing right um any questions if you have you please write it are you using chart paper no uh, i'm not using here chart paper but you can actually use chart papers chart papers may what happens is you do you are not never very sure of the pressing so if you have a pressed paper which is a machine made paper and it says a 170 gm you you see that it is it is quite um sturdy and it will not um, peel off or it will not give the fiber out the, uh, the paper fibers will not be out and you can use it for water based colors which is the poster color that I will be using if in case you take the chart paper sometimes those are handmade papers also chart papers so they, they do not specify which of which so no chart paper I'm using a cartridge sheet you can take a cartridge sheet or you can use a acrylic paint paper or any paper that is okay uh, any paper is okay but it has to be little, little thick not the normal a um, a4 size printing paper so here i will be just making a tree right here it's not coming from the child head it's look it's looking like that here so these this will all come with direct paint but just 
giving you the idea of how it has to look and just giving this it can be done all directly so this there is a tree which the later the all the details will come with directly paint okay so i'll just be done with this and i'll quickly set the paints i will be using the dom's watercolor uh, sorry poster colors you can also use watercolors the reason of watercolors and the what is the difference between both of them that the pigments of um, poster colors is more chalky it's more opaque so ma'am show us yesterday's painting i already showed it here this is the yesterday's picture this is yesterday's picture i just happened to do it i get some time and after the after the session and then i did this so this is the final outcome that i uh, wanted to show you because in the class we didn't do the background right i just suggested that you can make a tree but it's always good to see how it is uh, it's coming out so this is roman here now uh, i will be using the same palette this is the same palette that i was using yesterday it was lying over here i don't mind i'll just be taking out my paints in the same palette and i will be using the synthetic brushes different size assorted depending on how much space you have right i will be taking some mixing some colors also Where did I drop my cloth? I will be taking yellow and red, uh, yellow and orange. Sorry. So here, what what are the colors that I we can do it for the male and the female? We can do brown. We can do light brown. We can do gray, light gray. So it depends on what what tone you want to take in. These are generally always. Uh, the people that are portrayed in the pictures are very lean and thin and they are also tanned because they are working outdoors and that's how their life is. We take a little bit of orange and then I'll be taking a little bit of yellow too. When it's looking too much of orangish, too much, then you can actually take a little bit of burnt sienna or the brown shade not the yellow ochre, do not take yellow ochre, take a little burnt sienna and fix it to your whatever shade you want to. Do not make it totally bright uh, yellow like we do uh, it for Patachitra and all. We won't be doing it like that. So here we have, yeah, it's a decent brown color. Not too dark also and not too light. What I am using is an 11 brush. Okay, so this is a very thick brush. If you are not confident with a very thick brush for thinner areas, please take a number 4 or a 5. Do not use too much of water in your uh, poster colors also. The full body of this lady so it's not a very dark complexion also The colors are done flat and there is no shading involved. Only few of the um, shades that you will see is only because the outlines are being added to different, um, different places. Now here for this baby, I'll just make a little lighter color because the baby of course will not be tanned. So a little lighter, adding a little more yellow and... All the outlines will come. So I'm just doing a rough fill in this area. There. For this boy, I'll just take a little bit more darker. You can add the tones to your um, skin color also. So if in case you want a reddish tone, you can take a red. If you want brownish or dark tone, you can actually take the darker color also. 
there is also one grey colour. This is widely used for males. I'm like tribal males. It's always, I would advise that once you have uh, something restricting you, like here we have the body color, we, we know that it has to be dark. It's important that you plot that first so that you can complement your picture accordingly. So if in case this is the color of the body and that is brown and then this is also brown, what should be the brown of the wall here? It, it has to be non-painted. It's not, it's not supposed to be painted, it's mud. So it has to be brown. So then you have to make another shade for that. So we and everything is mostly browns here. Only this will be a sun kissed yellow. Uh, hey. Okay, here and I forgot the foot. We'll go with the colors and I'll take yellow ochre now which is a little bit brownish shade and a little yellow in it. Do not add too much water. I'm just showing you the palette so that you get the idea of how, how and what I'm doing on the palette also. So just mix it. See to it that it's not very transparent. You can get the idea while you spread it on the palette itself. To get a good glimpse of what color you are making always, you will get palettes in different colors. Do not buy red, green and pink and light blue. Always prefer a white palette so that you get the color, exact color what you are making. You will get the idea of that. Now after doing the outline it gets easier and there just continuously go in this direction where the the roof is thatched like this. So no sleeping lines here. There will be a lot of lines still over the over here after. One steady flow will help you. You can change the color also or you can keep the color the same. Again, ochre and yellow. I'm just not um, compromising with the lines. I'm covering it all because I will be doing the lines with the color later. So it was only to show you the design what is supposed, uh, what's going to come. Just filled it here and then I'm just repeating the lines in this stroke so that I get the idea of how it is falling down. Few portions are actually going inside but suppose you are doing you know that it has to be black so even if your color goes on here no worries you can actually go like this also. So it is that you know what is here if in case there are other colors coming you don't have to do this right you, you can actually save it but with the speed of it if in case you want to do it you have to anyway do black over it so don't restrict or these portions are done i'll make the border of it also and i'm taking pure brown now This is the burn sienna and I am doing the place where these are sitting.
there so this one is done the background will be green and the green can be a little not very bright one i'll just make the color uh, before you i'm trying to I'm taking the dark green, which is, it says the poster green. And since I made it yesterday also for the background, I'm just taking it where my green was. And I will be adding a little bit of yellow in it. I will not use my same brush. There's always a spatula with it. I don't know where did it go. That's very much here. So here you will always have this stir uh, this this is always there in this box which is a very helpful tool to churn your colors never use uh, the brush always take it out from here so I just kind of picked it from here and I'll take a little bit of ochre also And mix so I get a uh, sap green color which is not a part of this you don't get sap green in this now since when you will be doing this it's your paper will be a little bumpy so then that is why you have to hold it straight push it down so that you do not get that With a thicker brush, you will not have lines. There is no background left with white. So never leave the background white. They are fully colored pictures. So not even a bit of paper is seen We will be creating the lines to give the shape of the leaves. This we can do as a banana leaf or banana tree. We will be doing that as well. this one I'll just take a little bit of more yellow and give the trunk a little lighter color all the lines that are still here will be done with paint later on so you will even if the line is missing you will have to have uh, you'll have to have the lines okay so here the line is missing do not worry even if the color is going here do not worry everything has to be settled like here also when we did later on all the outlines are done with pen i will uh, sorry with the brush itself you can yes i also suggested for the uh, for those who fear using lining for uh, lining the picture with pen they can actually do it with the brush pen also i'll show you the brush pen also i'll show you in a corner how to work with that though i just do it with brush i i like 
even if your brushes go a little wrong still you get a lot of practice so i would always suggest that don't go for any other thing just practice with your brush now the same brush just wipe it i am taking the color which is cobalt blue hue and it's already here in the yesterdays i'll just so in poster you can actually do a little bit of water and then you can reactivate whatever color was already there so which is like i have to take little and then i'm good to go so here let me give this it's a really dark color right now you will see that all the dimensions all the drawing are going under the paint and it looks like i'm killing all of it so but when you will take your other color which is white and on black to do the outlines it will all pop out very well so here we know that what all we have drawn here so then it is always a plus point so here this is the cloth that has been tied on and so it, it has this we can also put the lady in uh, blue uh, this time a little different blue and i'll be taking a little white with it so i get a lighter version of it Paints are still wet, not to be touched anywhere. You can for dresses you can have any color. Also, pink would look nice. Do not make complex shades. Only just tone your colors down with white and black. So if blue, light blue, red, then can go on to the pink. Those colors can be done. Yeah. So just blocking the color is very important. I'll take pure yellow. fish in yellow you can also add orange or whatever color you want to just be careful not to go while your blue is wet do not go there otherwise i'm just saving those lines not to go very much on the other side now we are done with this all part and i will be doing uh, the a major part is this the wall the wall has to be really dark and this should actually shine out all the other things so i'll just take a terracotta kind of a color and how will i make that i'll just take the brown and i have crimson here and i'm mixing them both little crimson and brown so I will get a nice terracotta color. So this color will stand against the skin also. Oh, beautiful.
Khushi, thank you so much for your compliment. Yeah, it's a, I don't know how much practice went. I mean, I, I've been painting from a long time. It'll come to you also. So. Start from one side and continuously fill it. If in case you feel that some place it is thinning down, suppose from here, if in case you can see it's lightly, it's thinning down and I'm just taking a little extra and covering it up. So then it is spotless. It's like full opaque. There is no line, no definition of light and dark. It's just one color. I'll fill the same on this side. Load your brush very nicely. Now you suggest me what is going to be the color of the uh, dhoti of the boy. We'll see. So anybody who has suggestions can write it down and we'll see how it looks. Now all this part is done. I'll wait for you to answer this. Meanwhile, I'll be doing some of the design and the lining with the same color over here. So here, you can take a thin brush also, if in case. More about different art forms. Yes, Sumita Kosh, I know you, you love learning art. I'm just taking this and giving lines over here so this will add intricacy and now here if in case your line has been disturbed which is why you i'm just pointing it that here it is disturbed it's moved so with this now you can go a little steady and cover up for that so you don't really have to only the lining part which is in the end needs a little bit of care Just do it very organically. You don't have to trace or you have like don't get very nervous while doing any lining. Mainly people do feel scared and then if you are scared your hands will shake. So continuously just continuously just take one rough paper and make as many lines as you want to. doesn't have to come for perfect actually it's a tribal art it's not a printing so this kind of thing is good enough here on the other side also i will be adding giving a little wide tooth here.
and this is pretty much for this part right now only the door is left and this window so I'll just give it a window lines as well here and we'll be washing okay yes I can take an orange also thanks for your suggestion we can do orange I'll just take here it is just orange and there we go with orange Now, this much of it is done. I will take some black now to give the lines. I will switch um, my brush as well. I, I just happened to put my hand over here and I spoiled this portion. Let me just see. Let me fix it. Not much can be done. We will just do the white over it and it will cover. So here I'll be taking a thin brush to do the hair and all with black. So. Just thin down the paint. When you are doing the lining, it's very important to maintain the tip. So just while you are mixing it also, then also it's important that you uh, check it again. That And black adds a lot of definition to this. As I said, no, we don't worry about this. And here it, it covers up everything. Just be a little more careful with black. I'm making one good batch of black because we will be using it a lot. Same consistency. I'll start from this side so that I have some room to keep my hand. Now I'm doing this outline a little away from this brown so that I get the brown line also. Just giving some decoration we will be adding a lot of white also here then it will look awesome I must say
so when you fold a cloth it gets uh, tied up like this so So this portion is almost done. When you want to make a steady line, always move your hand from the wrist like this, from the elbow. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to make the line like this, like you are doing it. So you have to just hold it and then steady like this. So it's the movement from your arm. If the It's the movement of your arm. We'll just quickly take 10 more minutes to finish it off because until and unless it gets over you won't get the idea of how it has how it is looking and the white is still to come so just giving the whole of the knife black leaving only the edge white for the sharp blade Now comes how are we going to define this tree and the other things as we we have not made any of the leaves the leaves will come with only the paint how would you make a banana leaf is yes. just give broken lines under it it's the simplest way like I in my classes I would be teaching the small kids it's just the same but very easy just give broken lines following down like that and then you will be just splitting that
this is how the whole plant will look i'll take the green to make the veins in the plant yeah so this is but how it will actually shine out i'll just show you yellow yellow and green don't take a very lumpy paint otherwise the lines will not come nice like this just add those lines doesn't have to be really bright this doesn't have to be really bright otherwise it will not uh, look I mean like it will just overpower the whole picture I'm taking the cyanide and a little bit of white to make a very light brown color and I will be adding behind for the door this is a very light color brown and white now the main uh, beauty of it will come with white color and we will be thank you Jyoti yeah it really looks there is something in these kind of pictures where the uh, bold lines uh, take over everything and it looks very nice and um, so it's not that it, all the tribal arts us we have we sometimes get very judgmental on that but it's amazing to have uh, have a picture like this also the throw of color the uh, opaqueness of the color it cannot be um, there's no parallel to it and you will see the same kind of colors the palette of it is also very much similar to that of Jamini Roy and that, that is the reason probably that took him away from all he was practicing and he started doing the Santhal paintings and the type of paintings that he was later famous for initially he when he was doing a lot uh, with other kind of pictures like oil paintings and portraits it wasn't that um, famous also so now we will try to make it more attractive by adding this white this looks very beautiful and that is actually the hand the main thing in the picture it gets pretty with this so a little bit of the tie on the end of the cloth see it's always your imagination how you want to take your picture so that is something so here on the door this is all you will see this it depends on how you want to make it so your creativity will come here and obviously when you lose white it it brightens up the whole thing
So we are done with this part and they generally put feather on their head very simple not too much this time Here, I hope I'm not left with any of the corners. This is pretty much, and yeah, this is the painting. Now today we uh, just tried to cover up everything, all the figures also. And yeah, I told you that I will be telling you how to do use the brush pen also. Brush pens are very simple. And you can uh, use over for doing black outlines. But I, I would not say that please use it. Do not use it. But if in case you are uh, really, really, uh, you want a shortcut to it, then you can use the brush pens come in different brands. There is no brand that I'm telling you that you have to get this. But where did I leave anything? Okay, I'll just give you show you one line. And then, so it works on the oil pastel, uh, sorry, on this poster color also. And it's very much similar to what we do. So here I'll just see. I'm just giving some dots to show the ground here. There are different colors of brush pens also. You can use any of those. I think i'm not left with any line if in case yeah there's nothing that i can show you here but here see few lines if you want to add you can add few grass and all you if you want to add the background fine add it it's totally your imagination whatever wall you want for your picture so this is the picture that we have done for this you want to add a dress for the boy also we'll just put some over here okay, cool enough right so this is the picture this is again tribal painting santal art not very famous not actually it's not very famous but there are a lot of things that people are doing to restore this art it's important uh, I mean, like it's important if you know the art or, or you are interested in the art, it's very important for you to know actually different forms. What all are there? What kind of pictures are there? You can actually make the nose ring also. I want to. Okay, I'll just pick one. Make one. See. There. Cute little one. More dressed up. Okay. 
so i hope you enjoyed this and uh, let me know if you did and press the like button also let me see how many of you enjoyed it how many of you did it actually i know that it is very difficult to match with the base because here and this is the painting that we created i hope you liked it right and uh, in the next on the next saturday and sunday also we will be doing one more uh, painting that is going to be a, li a little bit more elaborate and we will be doing the harvesting and the other subjects wherein we can incorporate the animals and the birds also so stay tuned with us stay um, join we will be doing it uh, four o'clock next saturday and sunday also so i will see you all and you can also share this workshop with other other uh, people who might who might be interested and yes let me know your feedback also when you write to me i really um, get to see the messages and it gives me a very positive kind of a feedback ki ha you all are liking it and it is worth doing actually okay so please pour in your suggestions as well and uh, i'll see you next saturday till then bye bye take care have a nice weekend